I was doing carousels for a few years. It took a while to really find my flow with them. I make them in Keynote. I just find it simple and fast to use. And then I export the carousel as a PDF, which I might post on LinkedIn. Back in the day when I was more active on Twitter, I'd often write a lot of stuff on Twitter. The things that were quote unquote more successful, I would then turn into a post somewhere else. I would graduate the content that performed the best through different channels, potentially even into a book. I actually used 50 plus tweets in my book. Uh, but all of this is interesting because you just don't know what's going to happen. So this particular post that I'm going to take you through, it's reached, according to Instagram, 362,159 people. It's a simple topic and I wrote about it in a simple way. And I did it because someone who had responded to another post brought this topic up. So it starts with the problem which is essentially the routine, act one, the routine that a lot of people out there are going through. And it's this question, I'm creative, but am I strategic too? So while I often write for a lot of upcoming strategists, this person is the person who might do, we'll call it creative work for a living, ideas, art design, graphic design. So I start with the problem, I'm creative, but am I strategic too? Then I defined some of the words that we're using. And, and this is quite a useful technique in writing. If you find yourself with a question you're trying to answer, start by pulling apart the words. Well, what do these words mean to me? And that can set you up with a couple of useful paragraphs that can then milk for paragraphs to come. So my personal definition of the word strategy is this. Strategy is an informed opinion about how to win. It demands the grasp of a situation, a goal, and a way to achieve the goal. Then I situate it in advertising. Advertising strategy is a creative act. This language is a bit big, a bit of jargon, a little bit businessy, but I'm trying to get to this frustration that a lot of strategists feel, even though I'm not really writing for the strategist here, which is like, I think I do ideas, but there's a creative department over there and their job is ideas. So therefore, am I creative? Do I deal with ideas? And my answer is yes, but I have to define a lot of words to be able to make that point. So advertising strategy is a creative act. Creativity melds topics that don't usually belong together in novel ways. The output is ideas. This is kind of technical. Okay, it's different style of writing, and I'm paraphrasing Edward de Bono here, who wrote a lot about lateral thinking decades ago. But advertising strategy is closer to the ideas of a good nonfiction writer. So trying to land a few solid points here, my perspective, in a way that will hopefully give people words to use later, which is a really good challenge when you're writing. Can you explain things in a way where people will take your words and use them to explain ideas that they've been struggling with. If you identify as a creative, but want to up your strategy game focus here, I tend not to use a lot of words in rabbit ears or with the quotation marks around them, but I know that I'm dealing with some jargon here and I know that I need to make it simple to understand. One, people. Creatives often need to learn how to get out of their own heads and into the heads of their audiences. These are all truths that I think are pretty true, generally true. The word creative is a noun like this. I don't really like doing it because to me, creative is an adjective, but you know, I'm using a cliche or a trope of the industry just so I can relate to people. I basically got over myself to write that. I don't like it. Two problems in advertising, creativity helps to solve problems. Creativity isn't just about making cool stuff. So these are all truths or confessions about a thing that people are thinking. Three, strategy is ideas. A strategy needs an organizing idea. Creatives can struggle with this because they want the campaign idea to exclusively be that. What I'm trying to say here in a very short way is when I've trained people in the creative department in strategy, how to write creative briefs, often they struggle with being as creative as they could be with strategy because they're used to their response to a creative brief being the heroic thing. And so what can happen is when they write a creative brief, it's a bit bland because they want to be a hero later. For evidence, creatives need to spend time in numbers and research to be strategic, even if they interpret everything in different ways. Five, rationale. Yes, but why are you recommending this? With evidence on hand, you can support your arguments. And then there's a call to action. Share this with your strategy curious creative friends. And obviously a caption. When I look at this piece of writing, it's quite plain and it's full of jargon that I felt I needed to use so that people could connect to it. And it's really surprising that this is probably been my, my biggest Instagram post and reached, you know, 362,000 people. It's not my best writing, but as mentioned earlier, when you write, you can learn about what the world wants from you. And so I'm thinking about, is there a way for me to write a book or something bigger 
that deals with this coming together of strategy minds and creative minds and essentially the psychology of creativity to help people in a bigger way. So there you go. That's an example of an Instagram post that I did not expect to do so well that could end up changing a few years of my life.